what's up it's Natalie welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel so in today's video I asked you guys to ask me juicy questions on Instagram yeah I kind of wanted to answer them I wanted to do this video a couple months back but then I totally forgot about it and today I wanted to do it so this should be fun so let's just jump into the video I'm nervous I'm really nervous so this person asked have you done drugs no I have not and I do not plan to unless you're talking about like Tylenol um, I take Benadryl at night just because I have really bad allergies, um, and I can't really sleep that good. But other than that, no, I do not take drugs. Do you have a boyfriend? Great question. Uh, no. No, I do not have a boyfriend. I don't really have time for a boyfriend at the moment. I'm not opposed to getting one, but I'm very picky. Um... And no boy wants me right now. Why are you so hot? This is such a great question that I'm unable to answer because, um, <laughs> so you think I'm pretty? What's the most you've made off a brand deal? The most I've made off of a brand deal? I don't really get a lot of brand deals. I wish I did, but I think $300. Ha ha ha. Would you go on a date with me? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know you and I don't really date strangers, but you should text me. Biggest turn off in a guy. Um... I'm very picky when it comes to guys, so a lot of things turn me off. But the biggest is when they just talk about themselves and they're just very about themselves and no one else. I think that's very annoying and unattractive. Also, when people chew very loud, I cannot stand that. It's like chew with your mouth closed and quietly. Oh, I also hate feet. Well, that's just like turn offs in general, like pet peeves. <laughs> But yeah, when a guy just talks about himself and is only focused, oh, and then when they're not motivated, oof. If you're not motivated in life, what are you doing? What's your type? <coughs> Noah Beck. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Taller than me. I'm 5'5", five five, so like everyone's taller than me. Um, kind of athletic, but not like huge um funny caring humbled i don't know you just have to be a nice human being that's my type tiktok crush addison ray and noah beck i need a bad bleep addison ray lashani the baddest yeah and she has her ways oh but noah beck if he was not 19 i would ugh. gorgeous man first kiss story okay i don't even think i've ever mentioned it on this my first kiss story was on a cruise and yeah i was on a cruise and i was like in like the little teen program thinking i was the coolest gertie in the whole entire building which i wasn't actually i kind of was because i kind of controlled the group and everyone followed what i said to do so anyways i think i spin the bottle i don't even know and I was sitting right next to him and I liked him the whole entire cruise and my friend told him I don't know either me or him to kiss each other and I said no and then I don't even know we just kissed and then I freaked out at the end and he didn't know and then he came up to me and was like oh my god that was your first kiss and I was super embarrassed he's a great kid I still follow him on Instagram he follows me but <laughs> that's really embarrassing now looking back whatever it was cute it was like underneath the stars great kid great kid next question um have you ever been in an abusive relationship no i have not i'm very lucky i have not i've never been in an abusive relationship i have known people that have and i think it's really important to be there for the person who is in the abusive relationship and just be there for that person if they're not listening to you when you say like you shouldn't be in the relationship just be there for the person do you think sliding into someone's dms is cheating i think if it's like a celebrity no like hey cutie i don't because like i feel like there's a difference between fangirling with someone and then being like serious i think it's cool to be friendly with someone 
and not cross like know the difference between being friendly and flirting with the person if i was in a relationship my boyfriend was like dming someone else if he's too scared to show me the dm then obviously there must be something going on you know what i mean do you ever miss your ex how do you get over how did you get over your ex no i don't um how to get over an ex i think the best way is to stay busy and just surround yourself with positive people that could be friends that could be your family but just keep busy as much as possible and just try to focus on yourself like even though it's super hard you're obviously going to get over it and i feel like people miss the idea of the person more than the person themselves you know what i mean so no i don't still miss my ex and that is how I got over him. So, I mean, it's helped me. I feel like the biggest thing is time. You just have to, like, let yourself recuperate, focus on yourself, get fit, be happy, do stuff you love. That, I think, is the best way to get over an ex and not stalk his social media. Like, I know, like, looking at an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend's Instagram is, like, really hard. So, maybe try deleting them or hide them. I know you can mute people on Instagram. So, maybe try to mute them so you don't see their stuff and be reminded of them. Favorite place to travel? I really love California. I'd love to move there one day. That's, like, a goal of mine. And I love Italy. So, two places. I guess in the United States, it'd be California, and then Europe, it would be Italy. Worst period story. Um, so this would probably be like my first period, like the day I got the first time. This is like a little TMI, but like I really don't care. I remember sitting in class, and my school, you had to like have a uniform, which was like a plaid skirt, and I was sitting in class, and I didn't feel good the whole entire day. Keep in mind, I've never had my period at this point. And I remember I like looked down and there is like a little like ew, like a mark in my skirt. This is really disgusting. Thank God you like couldn't see like I wasn't wearing like one solid color. Um, but like the plaid skirt kind of hit it and then I went home. I have an older sister so I obviously knew what a period was. So I just used her products and yeah, it was really embarrassing because I remember it happened after lunch. I had three more subjects and then I could go home. How are you so freaking gorgeous? Oh my god. Thank you. This is from Tyler Yahweh. If you don't know who he is, he collabed with Post Malone. He's one of Post Malone's like best friends. He has a lot of amazing songs. Uh, my favorite is Tommy Lee hi right now and i think i love her those are my favorites bye <laughs> hey that's crazy he dm'd me how do you keep yo fine bleep looking so good i work out um i don't think i'm in the best shape um but i don't eat a lot of junk food but when i do it's bad i like chick-fil-a but I try to eat chicken, fruit, vegetables, and I work out. And I love me some pasta. So I was planning out my future and I was wondering, what are you doing with the rest of your life? Oh, this is such a good question. Are you asking me to be in your life forever? What I plan for my life is to focus on school, make it through, finish with a degree. My major is communications and multimedia. So I can do a lot with that on, in the aspect of like social media. I would love to do YouTube as a career. I think that'd be so cool. But if that doesn't work out, I don't know. When I was little, I have always wanted to be like a stay-at-home mom. But that's like in the future. But yeah, I think social media will always be like a part of my life one way or the other because I really love doing it and it's what like makes me happy. So what are you doing with your life? <laughs> so that's my plan. That is it for today's video guys. I hope you guys liked it and if you guys have more questions be on the lookout. I love doing these little Q&A type videos. Um, I always ask on my Instagram, so definitely go follow me on Instagram if you don't already do so. All my links will be in the down box below, so you guys can check that out if you guys want. And we can all be friends. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!